So this video is based off of an article from a website called Raspberry Pi Spy um, by a guy called Matt Hawkins. Um, here's a link to uh, the original article and that's what I based this video off of. In this video we're going to look at how to use Raspberry Pi and some Python code to send a text message via the internet. So we're going to send our text messages via the internet using an external service. So browse to www.textlocal.com um, and go to the sign up free which will allow you to create an account. Um, from here what we can do is we can send um, a connection via their API and uh, we'll have to buy credit on their service. You get five or six, for free, you know, five to ten I think for free when you sign up. So um, put in your email address and then click um, sign up for free. You'll then get an email uh, which will have uh, an activation uh, URL that you've got to have to click. So click that and um, you set up your account. Uh, fill in all the details that it asks for there, um, your name, your address and so on. And then click the activate my account uh, once you've completed all of that. So you now go to the, what they call their control panel and uh, leave that where it is. Okay, so run the command wget and then type in that URL that's in the description, minus o and then send underscore smm.py and uh, if you run the command uh, more on that file you see we have our Python code there. Okay, so we're going to edit this code um, so that we're able to send a text message. So the next thing we have to do is get a, a unique key for our um, ability to talk to the text locals API. So if you go to the documents page on their website and then you look for and um, this is your API hash and then you copy um, that out of that website which is unique to your account and then what we're going to do is we're going to um, swap out um, just the uh, template one there for your actual API. So use the uh, nano um, command to open up the Python script, delete the um, just that template there and then paste in your actual API key. Okay, so the next thing it's going to ask you to do is to actually uh, change the message that you want to send. Um, so we're just going to change that. I'm going to um, change that to Raspberry Pi for beginners. It's then going to ask us to change the username, which is in this case is my email address. And then what it has there is the sender. So because it's coming from an online service, it's not actually going to come from a mobile phone. What it will actually co come from is um, just a name, um, but you will not be able to actually reply to that. So I've just typed in M Manning, which is my name. And then there, you just want to type the uh, the phone number that you want to send it to. I've just typed it in the old rubbish there, so it could be anything. But obviously now you're going to want to put to, um, your actual phone number. The 44 bit is the UK's um, number code. So once you've entered in your phone number there, um, there's one more flag that you might want to be uh, aware of. Um, there's the test underscore flag. Um, this allows you to, if you set it to one, it will just run through the syntax and make sure it works. If you change it to zero, it would actually try and send the text message. So if you wanted to test a few things, um, you know, you, uh, you want to put some debugging um, lines in there yourself, you can test that without having to actually send the text messages and waste your credit. So if you run Python, um, send underscore um, SMS, you'll see that there that it's run through the Python script, everything appears to be okay, and uh, it's pretended to send the file. If you then actually go through, find that uh, test flag and change that to zero, and rerun that Python script, you'll actually see that text message will come through. So we send that now, and uh, I look at my phone, and there we go, that's a screenshot from my phone, which actually shows that I've been sent a text message. Now what you might want to do is go in and edit the Python code, change this um, so that you can um, have whatever conditions you want them to actually send the text message, but there's the framework you need.